Hi friends, how are you? Okay, so we are here to do a teen activity for middle schoolers and high schoolers. And uh, we are planning on trying to make these lovely flowers. You should have gotten a bag from the library lobby and you will need scissors and you will need glue. In addition, I will also recommend that you get a paper plate or maybe some newspaper because this might get pretty messy. Okay, so we're going to take everything out of our box. Um, and you should have three pieces of stock paper with a flower cut out on those. And you're going to start with just cutting this, these out. Um, you don't have to be like super careful, but it, you know, do the best you can. You guys are middle schoolers and high schoolers. I know you can do a fantastic job. So I understand you guys are back in school full time. You get to see your teachers every day. How's that working out for you? Are you feeling like you're doing well in school? You should be because it's only like the second, third, fourth week for you. Fourth week, maybe fifth. Have you even had any tests yet? Um, I have teenagers as well at my house and I don't know that they've had any tests. My 16 year old has had to do some Zoom meetings and some speeches and things like that. Okay, I have one of these cut out and I'm just gonna show you how to do our project based on this one. Um, and all the rest of them that you're gonna do are exactly the same. So I am going to choose an inside color and I think that this one goes really well with my red. So on the back side of that, it is, there's another thing to cut out. So I am going to cut that out. <clears throat> this is one of those things that if you do it right, it's going to look pretty good. And if you do it wrong, well, I don't know what it's going to look like. I, this is the first time I've done this. So I didn't even test this before I put this craft together. So I am really hoping that it turns out really cute. The pictures look good. So if this is an internet fail, you'll know. You'll be one of the first to know. Okay, so we've got our red piece and we've got our printed piece. And we're gonna line these up. They are supposed to go right in the center of our each one of those things. So we can see that it's a little bit off center over here on this side. So I'm just gonna trim this side up because each one of these uh, is supposed to go inside of the petal the red petal. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off of this one side so that it is inside the red. I may have to adjust this a little bit. I need to take a little more off. So we've got it lined up pretty good so that it fits okay on there. Um, so we're going to glue the printed onto this cardstock and that's where your glue comes in. And shake the glue a little bit so it gets down to there to the bottom as quickly as possible. have a secret, sometimes I just take the lid off and just use it straight 
out of the bottle, but I don't want to teach you guys bad habits. That would be bad. Okay, so you want to be pretty generous with how much glue you put on there. If you want to, you can smear the glue around with your um, finger. I am choosing not to do that. I'm just going to take this and stick it on to here, like so. And each one of those little um, petals need to go inside the red part. So it's going to look like that. Now we're going to stick this down pretty good and we're going to set this aside to kind of let, oh, it actually the direction says that we want to curl these while they are still damp. So we're going to take these and just curl them back. If you have a mm, Harry Potter wand, <laughs> you can use this to kind of curl those back and curl it around your, so you're basically bending it or you could bend it around, uh, I don't know, a pencil or a, I'm, I, it seems to be working better just to use my um, finger. But I think I'm gonna just make some clips in here so that it goes all the way down. The, I'm just cutting the red cardstock so that they are a little bit better separated from each other. And then I can curl them down just a little. Let's scooch more. Let's scooch. Okay. I don't know how that. Okay. So they are all. And then when we curl them up, they're going to look like that. Okay. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry. My hands are all icky. <coughs> use a Kleenex to wipe the extra glue off, you can go wash your hands. Okay, so you've got some yellow pipe cleaners. You want to cut these into thirds. So kind of fold them so that you have about the same length. Bada boom, bada bing. And then you've got some yellow beads. Take a yellow bead and put it on the end of your yellow pipe cleaner. And this is going to be the inside, the stamen part of your flower. So I've got one. I'm going to do another one. Just like so. And then I've got my last one. I'm going to curl this around just like that. Now I've got three stamens, and I'm going to put those right into the center. I'm actually going to, I'm going to follow the directions. The directions say, take three pipe cleaner pieces and wrap the ends together with one green pipe cleaner. So I'm going to take my green one and I'll wrap it right around there like that so that they stay together. This green part is the stem. And then we're going to lay the stem and, oh, and then I just folded that up so that it was kind of out of the way. Oh, see, there's my three little stamens. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and put it in the center of my flower, like this, and I'm going to wrap the petal part of my flower all the way around, and then you have a choice here. Um, you can just stand here and hold this, or you can get a paper clip and hold it shut. I'm just put a tiny bit more glue right on the tippy edge of that and then kind of clean it up with my finger and then let's see here in my drawer hmm, I do not even have a paper clip it must be out on the desk 
but you can kind of see what this is going to look like. There's my pretty little flower with my stamen in the middle and I've got my stem. So once you get all of them made, you will too will have a beautiful flower and they'll all be different colors. So I hope you enjoy this um, and we will see you next time. Bye guys.